Hello students, welcome to the class of English presented by Department of Punjab School Education under the project Padu Punjab, Padu Punjab. I am Manjot Kaur, English Mistress from Government High School, Sherpur Kala, Ludhiana. Today, our topic is a very interesting poem, Character of a Happy Man. This poem is written by Sir Henry Wharton. Dear students, we have done the recitation and the explanation of the poem. So now I would like to ask few questions from you. Which qualities we need to be happy? Very right, we have already done that. We need good qualities like honesty, truthfulness, goodness of the heart, etc. to be happy in the life. So the poem Character of a Happy Man by Sir Henry Wharton says the same. Dear students, in today's class we will learn about the rhyming words, rhyming scheme, textual questions, objective questions and answer cues which are very important from the examination point of view. So for that I start reciting the poem for you. Character of a happy man. How happy is he born or taught that serveth not another's will, whose armor is his honest thought and simple truth, his utmost skill, whose passions not his master's are, whose soul is still prepared for death, united unto the world with care of public fame or private prayer, who envies none whom chance doth raise, nor wise who never understood how deepest wounds are given with praise, nor rules of state but rules of good, who God doth late an early prey, more of his grace than gifts to lend, and entertains the harmless day with the religious book of print. This man is free from servile bond of hope to rise a feared fall. Lord of himself, though not of land, and having nothing yet had all. Dear students, now we are moving towards the rhyming words of the poem. A poem is different from prose as it follows a rhyme scheme. A poet uses rhyming words which sound similar at the end of each line or alternate lines to give a poem its beauty. In this poem, the rhyming words we have, you will speak after me. Yes, we start reading. Taught, thought, will, skill, death, breath. Raise, praise, understood, good, pray, day, lend, friend, fall, all. Dear students, our next topic is rhyming scheme. In this poem, the poet has used the rhyming pattern 
a b a b now i explain that to you as you have seen in stanza 1 the line 1 ends with the word taught we mentioned that a in stanza 1 the line second ends with the word will we write it as b the third line ends with the word thought is equal to again a and the fourth line ends with the word kill which we write as b as you can see on your screen the words ending with taught and thought gives the same sound like rhyming words end in the second line as well as in the fourth line the words end with will and kill so the rhyming scheme for this stanza is a b a b for the better understanding we take one more stanza that is stanza 2 whose passions not his masters are we mentioned it as a whose soul is prepared for death death his be united unto the world with care care is a of public fame or private bread bread is equal to b so the words ending with a kill are having the same sounds comes under the category of a the words like death breath comes under the category of b so these rhyming words make the rhyming scheme of the poem that is a b a b dear students now we are going to start the textual questions of the poem first question what does the poet want to say in this poem yes you are going right the poet wants to say that we should be honest in our thoughts if we want to be happy we should be free from jealousy we should not be a slave of passions we should be contented in our lives the second question write a central idea of the poem central idea means the key points covered under the poem answer is the poet gives a secret of a truly happy person's life such a person leads an honest life he is jealous of none he is content with whatever he has he is not slave of passions he follows the path of good how does a man become really happy very good students you are thinking it right a man can become really happy by following the rules of goodness he knows no jealousy he is honest in his thoughts he is not slave of passions he is always contented next question how does a religious book or a friend give happiness you are right a religious book is like a friend and a friend is like a religious book both of them keep us on right path they stand by us in our loneliness they give us happiness of the purest kind
Next question, how does a contented man has all without having anything? A contented man has no hope to rise or fear to fall. He remains contented with whatever he has. He may not be the master of lands, but he is the master of his desires. Thus, he becomes the master of all, though he may not have any thing. Who wrote the poem, Character of a Happy Man? Dear students, now we are at the second type of questions, that is objective type questions. These questions will come under part 1 of your question paper. Yes, very easy and very right, Sir Henry Wharton. Next question, what is the armor of a happy man? Very good student, the armor of a happy man is his honest thought. Dear student, next question, what does a happy man not care about? He does not care about the worldly fame or opinions of the people. Next objective type question is, what is a truly happy man content with? Answer is, he is always contented with whatever he has. How do a religious book and a true friend help us? They stand by us in loneliness. Dear students, now you will choose one correct option for this. A happy man and his dash. None, his friends, everyone, the rich. Yes, you are very right. A happy man envies none. Next, a happy man obeys the rules of dash. Traffic, King, Goodness, Government. Very good. A happy man obeys the rules of goodness. Dear students, please tell, is the statement true or false? A happy man is afraid of death. Very good. It's false. Because he is not afraid of death, his soul is always ready to welcome death. Dear students, now complete the following. A man is dash if he has not to serve another's will. The answer is lucky. A truly happy person is one who does not feel dash of others. Jealous. A happy man has no fear to dash or to fall. Answer is, dear students, as we have discussed before, 
at the completion of the presentation you will be able to enhance your four basic english skills learning speaking reading and writing i hope you enjoyed learning english these four skills are very important for us because as you all know english is a global language english is the most commonly spoken language in the world one out of five people can speak or at least understand english studying english can help you to get a job english is the language of science aviation computers diplomacy and tourism knowing english increases your chances of getting a better job in a multinational company learning english can help you meet new people english is the official language of 53 countries and is used as a lingua franca multi non language by people from all around the world english is the language of the media industry also because of the prominence of hollywood in global media if you speak english you won't need to rely on translations or subtitles to enjoy your favorite books songs films and tv shows english is the language of the internet traveling is a lot easier with a good knowledge of english imagine you are a spanish person on holiday in thailand while your hotel receptionist might not be able to answer your question in spanish it's likely they will be able to answer your question in english english is the most important languages for businesses With English you can study all over the world since English is spoken in so many different countries there are thousands of schools and universities around the world that offer programs in English if you speak good academic English there is lot of opportunities for you to find an appropriate school or university in an english speaking country english gives you access to multiple cultures dear students character of a happy man helps us a lot in understanding and appreciating the world around us that is why it is said if we embrace poetry we can empathize with one another poetry is a counselor and sir henry wotton proved it with his beautiful poem character of a happy man so now the time for home assignment dear students revise all the questions of the poem your next home assignment is you just write down the rhyming scheme of stanza 3 and stanza 4 in your notebooks this will improve your writing skills as well as your understanding a very interesting home assignment for you to enhance your skills of speaking as well as to know more about the rhyming words you have to write down the rhyming words of the poem given below i recite the poem for you our work is done our day is past we will go our separate ways and i will hold so tight and fast what i have learned today i have given with my heart and mind the effort that it needs and i will strive 
in me to find good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Dear students, so we learn that happiness is very important in our lives. Happiness should be our goal of life. By being happy, we have the potential to change many lives. With this poem, we understood that happiness is not only a huge smile on our face, it is a sense of being, a conscious choice on how to live our lives. As Sir Henry Wharton says, happiness is a choice. When you are happy, working hours seem to fly by. You channel your high energy into your task, finishing off your you to do list faster and more efficiently. When you are not preoccupied with worry or sad thoughts, your creative juices. Flow. Life is too short to spend. Choosing to be happy means that while you feel bad at times, you don't let it rule your life. You acknowledge the emotions, but you move on as soon as you feel happy. We have much importance of happiness in our lives. Happy people are healthier all around and more likely to be healthy in the future. Happy people live longer than those who are not as happy. Happy people are more productive and creative. And this effect extends to all those experiencing positive emotions. Happiness makes good things happen. It actually promotes positive outcomes. The benefits of happiness include higher income and superior work outcomes. More activity, more energy and better physical health and even longer life. So dear students for having a healthy and successful life, we all should be happy. The experience of joy, contentment, positive well-being combined with the sense that one's life is good, meaningful and worthwhile. Wishing you all a best of luck to start each day with happiness. I hope you enjoyed learning the poem, the skills of English language, rhythms, rhyming scheme, rhyming words, and a wonderful session of poetry. Thank you very much. Presentation by Manjot Kaur, English Mistress, Government High School, Sherpur Kalan, Ludhiana. An initiative by Department of School Education, Punjab.